Hey y'all, it's me Alex. Today I have a little socially distant online thrift haul for y'all. Now thrifting is something that I've absolutely missed while we have all been cooped up at home. I love thrifting, I love fashion. I've been watching a lot of outfit videos and fashion videos and sustainability videos uh, just because it really does relax me that and makeup videos just do something very good for my mental health. So I spent a little money on some thread up and some other secondhand finds that I found online and I am going to basically just show them off and try them on and have that be a little enjoyable thing. Now I also do want to mention that uh, while these times are very difficult for a lot of people, I really want to make sure that in the midst of trying to make content that is kind of escapist, this is admittedly very escapist, um, I also want to empower y'all to be able to act, especially for the matters of black liberation in this moment. Given the matter of the murder of George Floyd and many other people, I do want to offer ways that y'all can help. So I am going to be linking to different bail funds that y'all can donate to in the description box. If you have any other resources that you would like to provide in the comments, I would absolutely love for y'all to do that. So that way I can share that on this video in future videos. I always feel as though I need to use my platform in addition to uh, bringing content that is kind of just fun and lighthearted, I also want to use that to make a difference. So I'm going to be, like I said, linking to different bailout funds, as well as an article that I found that was 75 ways white people can help combat racism. And if you have anything that you would like to share that you think would be of assistance, basically in the movement for racial justice and liberation, I would love for y'all to share that too. This is just something that I care about really deeply and I think everyone else should too. And I can't imagine not saying something about it but yeah I wanted to share and do my best and hopefully empower y'all to do something too. Hi it's editing Alex here. I am going back and editing the video a couple days later and I also wanted to include an anti-racism workshop that I'm actually going to be attending. I believe it's June 17th and 18th. Uh, I didn't quite know about it when I had filmed this video but it's hosted by the Reverend Jackie Lewis who I think does a lot of really great work and if that is a kind of work that you're interested in I would highly encourage encourage you to attend, especially uh, my fellow white people who are looking to do anti-racist work. I believe it's about $20 a ticket. So yeah, that's another resource that I found. So anyway, we will get back into the thrift haul now. So the first thing that I actually got was something that I had to go on the hunt for because basically the way I do sandals every summer, because I'm very much like a sneakers and boots kind of person, but I always know that every summer I need a pair of sandals. I will just like buy a pair of black sandals and wear them into the ground. And this year my sandals broke. So I needed to buy a pair of new ones. And I decided this year would be the year that I actually, you know, get a little something new, a little something better. So I searched on Poshmark for Doc Martens sandals and I found this glorious pair. I've been wearing these so much to break them in. I found these beautifully ugly sandals. I love them so much. One of my friends have always given me the advice that if your sandals look like something you could wear as Jesus in a church play, they're gonna last you a long time. And this looks like a pair of goth Jesus sandals. And I quite like that. I hope that y'all do too. Uh, these are still like, I'm still in the process of breaking these in. So there are some parts that still rub me a little weird, but they do fit very well. And I've been wearing this just about any time that I like go out for a walk, which is basically all I've really been doing right now because obviously I don't need to leave the house for anything else. Now next up I ordered a few items off of ThreadUp. I wanted to find um, some black jeans, some leggings, and a couple of like nice casual short sleeve tops because I often find that my casual wardrobe is usually just like a t-shirt and jeans and then like the rest of my wardrobe is like dresses and like cardigans and stuff and I really don't have anything in between. So I found a couple of nice shirts from Universal Thread. The first one that I have been wearing a whole lot is this shirt right here. This is in a size extra large and I really like it. I look super gay in this. I will show you all that in the try on clip but this is just like an olive green kind of lightweight. I'm not sure what material this is but it is kind of like see-through a little bit. 
but not so bad that I really need to be careful of my undergarments when I wear it. Uh, it has this nice little sleeve detail. I have worn this out for walks when it has been super hot and I really don't get too... well I do get sweaty because it's humid as heck in New Jersey, but y'all know what I mean. <laughs> okay so this is what the first shirt looks like. First of all, pardon the clutter around me. This just so happens to be a room that I live in. It happens, but as you can see it's just this really nice button-down shirt. It doesn't really like accentuate my curves or anything like that, but that's okay. I'm non-binary. I can care or not care about that stuff as I please. Um, I'm just wearing it with these black skinny jeans that you will see later in the video. And I think one of the ways that I do really like to wear this is just kind of doing a French tuck as 10 friends would show you just kind of like this. It does need a little bit of like ironing around the button area but that is perfectly fine with me. I really do like how this looks. It is very plain. It's not anything particularly special but I really do enjoy how it looks. Now I bought another top from Universal Thread that is also of the short sleeve button up variety and it looked really cute online and I don't deny that it also looks cute in person but when I tried it on yesterday, I didn't style it, I just tried it on, it didn't feel quite right on me. Now I love this color, I love this light blue, and I really enjoy the ruffle detail on the sleeves. Yeah, it's in a size extra large as well, so it fits the same as the other one, but this one feels a little bit like, I don't know, a lot on me, but that might also be because I'm not used to it in terms of my regular style. This is definitely a shirt that goes out of my comfort zone in terms of things that I enjoy. So I am going to attempt to style it and y'all will see how I truly feel in the try on portion. Okay, so this is shirt number two, just kind of not really done any, like this is when I'm not really doing anything with it. Now I'm noticing, because I just tried this on with like my shorts yesterday, I didn't really like how that looked. I think it definitely does look better with the skinny jeans so that way that really balances out the billowiness of the top. But I still think the sleeves kind of look a little big on me so I'm gonna try tucking this in. I think this might also look pretty cute with like a short skirt like a denim skirt or something. Uh, to maybe balance it out a little bit. I don't know. This is an out of my comfort zone, something my ideal self would wear type of shirt. Yeah, I think me tucking it in definitely kind of makes it feel a little bit more balanced out. I really do like the ruffles on the sleeves and I think it is kind of shaped pretty well for my figure. Um, I just know that I'm a very curvy person so sometimes if there's like too much going on it's just like oh they've got a lot going on. You know, I don't know if anyone else gets that feeling but me, I, whatever. So this is what that looks like. I think it's, yeah, I think if I tuck it in, it's pretty cute. And I could also envision this with like a little denim skirt or I have a couple of other, um, like I got this wool skirt from Anthropology back in February that I think would probably go pretty well with this. You know, if I'm feeling extra fancy, but I think this can also go very nice and casual. I just want to see what it looks like if I button it all the way up. I also think buttoning it all the way up as opposed to like leaving this top part open uh, does help with kind of shaping it a little bit more. So I think, you know, with a little bit of styling that this could be pretty cute. I think I just have to get used to looking at myself in something like this. Like I said, this isn't what I normally go for, but you know, it's not bad. I feel like I'm wearing a little cape. I also really needed a new pair of black jeans, which I'm basically going to be trying most of these items of clothing on with because usually it's the tops that I think are more fun, so I don't really have too much variety on what I wear on the bottom half of my body. But these are from Old Navy, uh, super skinny, high rise. They're so what I do when it comes to black jeans is I will buy these Old Navy super skinny high rise jeans. Like I will go on ThreadUp, I will search my size, I will search jeans, I will search Old Navy and high rise and skinny and get them in black. And I will wear them until they wear out and I cannot wear them anymore and then go on ThreadUp and buy a new pair. So uh, I have a very good system going because every pair of jeans that I've ever gotten from Old Navy will last me very well. Uh, they fit me quite nicely. I like Old Navy skinny jeans because they're nice and skinny and fit very well without being super constricting. And I always know that they're gonna look good on me and fit me really well. I also wanna show off these jeans. I think they look quite nice on me. 
Um, they're just, you know, a standard pair of black skinny jeans. They're also not anything particularly special, but with the amount of items of clothing that I own that look really good with black skinny jeans, I think they fit quite nicely. They're nice and like high-waisted because I really don't wear anything that isn't high-waisted. Because uh, if I wear anything that isn't high-waisted, I would have to wear a lot of belts and my one belt that I own like broke, so we're not gonna do that. Yeah. Now I also got a pair of leggings from Joy Lab. Now, first of all, I do want to mention those jeans are in a size 14. Um, I got these in a size large because these were like $5. And these definitely, I don't know, they look a little bit cheaper in person than they do online. They're also just like a tiny bit smaller than I had anticipated. I don't know, I guess they're like compression leggings now. They compress me a lot, but that's okay. Like they do fit. They're just definitely tighter and a little bit cheaper looking than what I had anticipated. Oh my god. <sighs> Putting on these active leggings was a workout in and of itself. But here's what this looks like. Um, these leggings have a pocket on them, which is about the one thing about them that I like right now. Like, they fit on me. But if you can see like what this is doing right here with a top, it's not bad, but I do kind of feel a little bit like busted can of biscuits a little bit. I'm not going to not wear these leggings because I think they will be fine to work out in, but they are a time to get on. And then finally, the last place that I went to to buy some clothes is one of my favorite Plato's closets nearby has put up an online shop so they can sell things well, we're all kind of like stuck inside. And I'm not necessarily the biggest Plato's Closet fan just because they usually don't have a whole lot in my size. They're really not the greatest when it comes to like the mid to plus size range, especially when it comes to my style because they're very, very trendy and like kind of Forever 21 Fashion Nova E, which I don't necessarily think is a bad thing. Like it is great for people who like that. Uh, I'm not someone who wears that all the time. You know, you take what you can get. Uh, I'm more of a Buffalo Exchange kind of consignment store type of person. Uh, but you know what, I'm able to go into Plato's Closet and occasionally find some really cool things. Well, one of the reasons that I really like that Plato's Closet that I do go to is because they had a really good free people event and I was able to find like four tops for like $40 and free people is expensive. But free people looks really good on me <laughs> and they're nice and comfy so I ended up buying a couple of crop tops actually a pair of shorts and another just top that I thought was cute uh, so I'm going to get into that now so crop top number one is this cute little number from Hollister this is a size large I think you'll probably have seen me wear this in a video before or video or two I don't know I've definitely been wearing this one a lot. I really like the color on me. I think it fits pretty nicely. The only gripe I have is when I wear it, like it has this little racerback detail, which is perfectly fine. It's cute. Um, but the racerback bra that I have to wear with this peeks out ever so slightly from the straps and not in like the cute way. It's one of those things where it's like not noticeable enough to make it like fashion, but not unnoticeable enough to not notice it. So it's kind of stuck in that in-between space, but I can only care so much. I would go braless in this, but could be disastrous. <laughs> okay, so here's what this Hollister top looks like with just like something that actually really fits me well on my bottom half. As you can see, my straps are kind of out right now because I didn't feel like changing into a whole new bra to model this top. Whole new bra! Anyway, I do really like this top. I think it's pretty cute. I like that it is nice and form-fitting without doing the whole thing that the leggings did, the busted can of biscuits effect. Um, I think it shows off my figure really nicely, and when you do hide the straps, it is pretty cute. Uh, not that we should be really shamed into hiding our bra straps. I don't care that much about it in the grand scheme of things, uh, but it is like a minor nuisance when it's like one or the other, like I mentioned in the like showing it like this uh, clip. So this is what it looks like from the back. It has this really nice bracer back effect, which I like because I have a nice little tattoo on my shoulder and I like to show that off. I really like my shoulders and my arms to show. Honestly, I do really like just how I look in general and summer is great for showing off my body because I think I'm super cute and I'm very confident. 
I don't know what that was. But I like this top and this shorts pairing a whole lot. The other crop top I got, I actually like a little bit more. This is from Ambiance. And this is also a size large. It's this cute little like white and gray leopard print. I also know that I've worn this one and I think the Pat McGrath video. And I think that the shape of this is really, really nice. I love wearing this with like a pair of high-waisted leggings or high-waisted jeans. It has this really cute knot detail up here, which I don't know if you can tell uh, as I'm showing it off to you, but you might be able to tell once I do the try on portion. Um, so yeah, that's super cute. It's just this pair of button up shorts. Now these look a little crusty because I've, well not crusty, but a little messy because I have been wearing these just about every single day and I have washed them, but they're black and there are animals in this house. So uh, it's never going to look completely clean. But this is what these look like. I really needed a pair of shorts because I've kind of realized that I don't own that many shorts that really fit me in the hips anymore. Literally my best pair of shorts is one that Case and I kind of like share together um, because we wear about the same pant size. And those are like nice and long. I really like these. My only gripe is that I wish they were ever so slightly longer. Not because I don't like showing off my legs because I actually really do. Uh, it's more that like when you first put them on they will be at just the right length to make sure you don't have any chub rub but as you walk around in them the little middle part will like start hiking up uh, and uh, give me a little more chub rub than I would like so yes. Okay so this is that little leopard print crop top and the shorts. The shorts I believe are from like one of the Target brands are size 12 and they look really cute on me. I like these. They're nice and high-waisted so that way I can wear a crop top with them and not feel super self-conscious. And as you can see, there's this really cute little knot detail on the top. I think this just all fits very nicely. It's very comfortable. This is one that I don't have too much to say about it other than I really do like how I look in it and it is very good for like a Jersey summer where I can go out in the humanness and it would be perfectly fine. Um, this is what it looks like from the back. Again, I think this is a pretty simple outfit. I'll just wear that with those sandals that I showed y'all at the beginning of the video and it is pretty standard, pretty cute, and I feel like I could pair just about any sort of makeup look with this too and it would look really nice. There's this top from American Eagle which is this kind of mustardy striped button-up top but I like this because even though it is definitely very long sleeve, the sleeves are nice and billowy and the material is very very light so it's definitely something that I can wear during the summertime in addition to uh, probably something that would go well in the fall too. I'm not gonna say winter because mustard isn't a winter color but also I'm color anarchist so I think this is really nice just because I really enjoy a good collared button-up shirt. It has a nice little tie waist detail that I can use to really make sure that it gives me a lot of shape, a lot of like hourglass nipped at the waistness uh, so I quite like this. Okay so this is that top from American Eagle. It is a little wrinkly just because I got my laundry out of the dryer but didn't actually hang anything up because I am tired generally speaking. But I like how this looks. I also like wearing this with kind of the short shorts. I really like the look of you know like a long billowy top with very short shorts but I'm just wearing this with my jeans just for convenience purposes of me not trying like everything on all the time. So I really love these sleeves. I like this color myself. I'm a huge fan of mustard in general. I think this will especially look good with my belt Gemini palette. Yeah, this really isn't anything special, honestly. I will say that I do have to kind of like unbutton the lowest button on this in order to really uh, cinch it in at the waist, but that's no one's gonna know that when I wear it other than y'all because I just told y'all. This is my like not particularly interesting but actually pretty cute kind of top. <laughs> okay so that is it for this video. As I mentioned at the beginning I will be linking to different bailout funds that you can donate to to work for racial justice in this country and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more videos from me and I will see y'all in my next one. I hope you'll have a wonderful day. Bye!